Hi, this is Dr. Xu, teaching mine ventilation for mining engineering students. In this video, we will talk about how to quantify heat and moisture exchange. In the last video, we have introduced the psychrometric relationships. One application of a psychrometry is if we know the flow quantity here and the starting dry ball and wet ball temperature. We can find the resulting temperature if we know the heat source, or we can find the amount of the heat source if the starting temperature and the ending temperatures are known. We will use an example to demonstrate the application, but before that, let's look at some of the basic relationships. The first one is the mass flow rate of air, kilogram per second, equals to the volumetric flow rate of air that's cubic meter per second divided by apparent specific volume. So this value can be read off from the psychrometric chart. For the heat exchange, heat equals to mass flow rate by the change in sigma heat. So the sigma heat can be read off from the psychrometric chart as well. For moisture exchange, moisture equals to mass flow rate by the change in apparent specific humidity or moisture content. So the apparent specific humidity can be read off from the psychrometric chart as well. Let's look at one example. 50 cubic meter per second of air enters a roadway at 15 wet ball and 20 dry ball temperature. The heat source introduced from the strata is 300 kilowatt. So the heat emitting from the underground strata from the walls is 300 kilowatt. Assume the pressure remains constant throughout the tunnel. So the pressure is 1000 kilopascal. Use the supplied psychrometric chart. So the supplied psychrometric chart is for 100 kilopascal. The first question is, what is the mass flow rate of air? We know that mass flow rate equals to volumetric flow rate divided by apparent specific volume. Volumetric flow rate is 50, so we need to find the ASV from the psychrometric chart. From the problem, we know that the wet ball temperature is 15, so it's here. We draw a line from there, it's the green line. And the dry ball temperature is 20, so it's here. We draw a line from here, so it's the right line. So from the intersection point here, we can determine other psychrometric properties of the air. Apparent specific volume is here. The lines are these lines. So we draw a line in parallel with these lines. That's the purple line. Here is point 0.8, here is point 0.9. We can read off here the ASV. ASV equals to 0.853 cubic meter per kilogram. So the mass flow rate M equals to 50, the volumetric flow rate divided by 0.853 equals to 58.6 kilogram per second. Also from the chart, we can read off from here, the so sigma heat Sigma heat here equals to 41.68 kilojoule per kilogram. The second question is, what is the wet ball temperature at the end of the roadway? We know the equation heat equals to mass flow rate by the change in sigma heat. So in this problem, we know the heat, we know the mass flow rate, and we have found out the sigma heat at the beginning of the roadway. So we can calculate the sigma heat at the end of the roadway, and um, sigma heat is proportional to wet ball temperature, so we can find the wet ball temperature. So previously we have found that sigma heat of one equals to 41.68 kilojoules per kilogram. So in this equation, heat is 300 equals to M58.6 by S2 minus S1 is 41.68. You can solve S2 equals to 46.8 
kilojoule per kilogram. From the psychrometric chart, sigma heat of 46.8 is here. So we draw a red line and the cross section between the red line and the web wall temperature scale is here. We can read it off. Here is 15, here is 20. So the ending web wall temperature is 16.7 degree. Lastly, the question is, if there is no moisture exchange throughout the process in the roadway, so the moisture doesn't change, determine the dry wall temperature at the end of the roadway. So previously we have found that here is the status of air at the beginning of the roadway. If we draw a horizontal line here, we can find the apparent specific humidity. That's the moisture content. So draw a horizontal line from state one here, we can find the moisture content here. Because at the end of the roadway, the moisture content doesn't change. So at the end of the roadway is this line as well. We also know at the end of the airway, the web wall temperature is this red line. So the intersection between this red line and th this moisture content line here, this is the air state at the end of the roadway. If we draw a line from here to the dry wall temperature scale, the red line here, we can find the dry wall temperature. So here is 20, here is 30. So the dry ball temperature at the end of the roadway is 25.4. Uh, Another application of psychrometry is if we have two air streams of different airflow rate and air temperature, how do we find the air temperature in the combined air stream? So in this situation, we have Airstream 1 has mass flow rate of uh, M1, sigma heat of uh, S1, and moisture content of R1. And in Airstream 2, mass flow rate is M2, sigma heat is S2, and uh, moisture content is S2. In the combined airway, assume the mass flow rate is M, sigma heat is S, and moisture content is R. The relationship is here. For mass flow rate, the total M equals to M1 plus M2. And for sigma heat, S equals to this equation. So M1, S1 plus M2, S2 divided by M1 plus M2. For moisture content, it's the same equation, just change the S to R. So R equals to M1, R1 plus M2, R2 divided by M1 plus M2. Let's look at an example. So airway A, and airway B meet at here and combine to say airway C. So in airway A, the volumetric flow rate is 4.5, and the wet ball temperature is 28, and dry ball temperature is 30. In airway B, the volumetric flow rate is 14, and the wet ball temperature is 18, and the dry ball temperature is 25. So in airway C is the mixture. First question asks you the mass flow rate of the mixture. Because we know the wet ball temperature and the dry ball temperature from the psychrometric charge, we can find the ASV, sigma heat, um, and the moisture content. The same from the psychrometric charge, we can find the ASV for airway B, sigma heat for airway B, and uh, the moisture for airway B. I will show the results to you, but please use the psychrometric chart and check if the values that you have found are the same as what we have here. ASVA equals to 0.903. SA equals to 87.59. Moisture content in airway A equals to 23.5 gram per kilogram. So for B, ASVB equals to 0 0.87 cubic meter per kilogram. Sigma heat in airway B is 50 kilojoules per 
kilogram. Moisture content in B is 10 gram per kilogram. So by using ASV, we can calculate the mass flow in each of the airways. So mass flow in airway A equals to volumetric flow rate 4.5 divided by ASVA 0.903 equals to 4.98 kilogram per second. Mass flow in B equals to volumetric flow rate in B, that's 14, divided by ASV B, that's 0 0.87, equals to 16.1 kilogram per second. So in the mixture M mix, so that's in airway C, equals to MA plus MB, equals to 4.98 plus 16.1 equals to 21.08 kilogram per second. The next question asks the moisture content of the mixture. We have this equation. So our mixture equals to M1. We have calculated 4.98. R1 is um, 23.5 plus M2. 16.1 R2 10 divided by M1 plus M2 equals to 13.2 gram per kilogram. So this is the moisture content in the air mixture. Next, it asks the sigma heat of the mixture. So using this equation, S mix equals to M1 4.98 by S1, we have found it. We have we have found we have found it in the sacramentic chart. That's 87.59 plus M2 16.1 S2. That's 50 divided by M1 4.98 plus M2 16.1 equals to 58.88 kilojoules per kilogram. The last question asks the wet ball temperature of the mixture and the dry ball temperature of the mixture. From previous calculation, we know that the moisture content of the mixture is 13.2 and the sigma heat is 58.88. So moisture content is here and sigma heat is here. We can draw a line from the moisture content that's the horizontal line, and we can draw a line from the sigma heat here. So this is the moisture content line, and this is the sigma heat line. So the intersection here, this is the web of temperature. And if we draw a line down from here, and we can read off the dry ball temperature from here. So web ball temperature is uh, 20.8, that's that value. And if we draw a line from here down to the dry ball scale, we can read off the dry ball temperature from there. So dry ball temperature is 26.2. So in this video, we have learned that how to calculate the resulting temperature if we know the heat source by using the sacramentic chart and also how to calculate the temperature of the air mixture if we know two streams of air come together with different temperatures. Thank you very much for watching. This is Dr. Xu. If you like the video, please give it a thumb up, subscribe my channel, and share it to others. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video.